What is hot desking on Teams Display? Hot desking on Teams Display lets you schedule or reserve a Teams Display ahead of time or ad hoc on the device. This is different than hot desking on phones where you can't schedule it or reserve it ahead of time. So imagine a scenario where you have a hotel cubes, people could use a scheduling tool to reserve not only the hotel cube, but also the team's display. And then when they come in to work at that hotel cube, the team's display will already be reserved for them. Creating a resource account for hot desking is no different than creating a resource account for like a Surface Hub or Teams Rooms on Windows or Android. I'm going to go to resources. Now, in your case, it may be hidden. Um, just click on it there, but rooms and equipment, and I'm going to add a resource. It's a room name is Hotel One. Call it whatever you want, the name of the cube or the, the area in the building where it's going to be. Uh, locations one, good enough. This creates an exchange resource account. We'll see here in a second, it's gonna have some auto accept things turned on, which we want so that when you invite this room via Outlook or Teams Calendar or some third party room booking software, you'll be able to do it. So we'll look at edit booking options really quickly here. And we can see that uh, right here, auto accept meeting requests. Right there, that's what we want. Auto accept meeting requests is enabled. Feel free to change these values or go to Exchange Admin Center and change them. Now, we have a mailbox, but we have not assigned a license or set a password. So let's go find this account, which I just created, which I think is gonna be right here, Hotel One. So let's just click on Hotel One over here on the right. I am going to reset the password. So let me just put something in really quickly. There we go, don't change password. Uh, yeah, we don't want this. Don't change a password when they first sign in. Once we have assigned the password, let's go back in and assign a license. The one requirement for hot desking is that it has to be a Microsoft Teams Rooms license. So I'm gonna go with Microsoft Teams Rooms standard save changes. So now the account has been created. Let's take a look at signing in and the uh, hot desk experience. All right, I booted my Teams display. It wants me to go to device login and type in this code. So let me write down this code really quickly and then sign in. Okay, let me go to microsoft.com slash device login. And the code it wants. And then the account I just created. And yes, I'm trying to sign in. So let's bounce over back to our display. It's got the username and password, so now it's gonna sign in. All right, so there we are. We're signed in as our user Hotel One. This device is ready to be reserved. Now, I'm gonna show the easiest way is just to walk up to the device and reserve it. So I'm just gonna walk up to it, click the reserve button or tap reserve, and now it's gonna ask me some info. Reserve for guest. Well, I'm gonna reserve it for Megan Bowen. So we're gonna look for Megan. Here we go. We're good. We're gonna reserve it until 9.15 p.m and click reserve. What's happening now is basically a calendar entry has been put into the Outlook calendar for Hotel One. So I'm gonna bounce over to outlook.office.com, sign in as Hotel One, and let's see what the calendar looks like. All right, we're inside Outlook and I will look at the calendar and there we go, reserved for Megan Bowen. There is the meeting reservation. And again, we said at 9.15 p.m. it's gonna be over. So that's what happens. You could do this programmatically. If you send an invite via Outlook or whatever, it just adds a calendar entry and that's what shows up. So let's go back to our team's display. And now the time has come for Megan to sign in. So we're gonna click sign in, type in her info. And then put in her password and click sign in. And there we go. Megan is now signed in. She can now use her Teams display. She can make phone calls. Her phone number is assigned to her. That's been moved over. She can browse her Teams. She can see her uh, notifications on the home page. So she can just do what she needs to do on this Teams display until her time is up, at which point she'll be notified that uh, she's about to get signed out. How do we set a hot desking policy? 
That is where we need our friend PowerShell. I've already signed into the Microsoft Teams PowerShell module, so now I'm going to run get cs teams ip phone policy to list all of the IP phone policies that I have. And this last one on the bottom is my hot desking one. So we can see here, allow hot desking is set to true. Now I'm going to assign the policy I created. I do want to point out, you could have just edited an existing Teams phone policy uh, instead of creating a new one. But in the sample, I'm just creating a new IP phone policy. So I'm going to grant it now to Megan. Now that it's assigned, uh, Megan is able to sign in using hot desking. And here's a quick sample of what happens when the time expires for Megan. So this is when her initial two hour reservation has expired.